Good evening, students. Today we are going to learn about the poem called The Stone by Wilfred Wilson Gibson. A short introduction about Wilfred Wilson Gibson. He was a British Georgian poet born on October 2nd, 1878. And he is one of the poets who was associated with the World War I period. And he started publishing poems since the year 1895. He was very well known for his uh, poetry collection called The Web of Life. In his poems, you might find a lot about the British countryside and uh, most of the themes in his poems dealt with poverty and passion of his times. And he's a very great friend of another great poet of his times called Rupert Brooke. And along with him, he started a literary group called the Dymock Poets. Okay, let's just move to the poem of today. The stone actually portrays the tragic story of a young couple. It begins abruptly with a question. Okay. The narrator of the poem is asked by a woman a young woman to cut a stone for her lover and she opens the poem like this will you cut a stone for him to sit above his head the stone here signifies the tombstone so apparently the young man must have died already there is a reference that the young man had worked in a stone quarry. And we are taken to a, a little flashback of what had happened with the young man and how he died. Apparently, the man was killed in an accident in the stone quarry. He did not care about a warning sign and he, or probably he did not pay attention to the warning sign and he loitered around and there were you know a huge noise and a flash and a shock and the rumbles of stone kept falling over him until he died and there he lay a lifeless heap under the broken rock and he lay as still as a stone. He was a lively and brave and you know, tall young man, but just that he was, he did not pay attention to the warning call and he was careless about his way of life and he got killed because of that. Now, the narrator, a colleague of him who worked in the same stone quarry, was dreading how he would break the news to the young lover, to the woman. But even before he could collect himself, choose his words and think how he can convey this news, some poor fool had already ran before him and told him told the girl the news about her lover's death and the minute she hears the news the girl's heart stopped beating okay. that is she was heartbroken and she stands at the threshold as a lifeless stone for three days and three nights she could not weep she could not cry she could not say anything, but she just stood like a stone for three days and three nights.
And after the three days and three nights, the woman approaches the narrator with a question. Whether the narrator can set, cut, sorry, not set, cut a stone for her lover, a tombstone for her lover. The narrator agrees to take up this work and she visits him every night, night after night. Okay. She comes to his house to watch the narrator at work carving and chiseling the stone. She comes in like a ghost and goes out like a ghost without a wink and without any speech, without speaking, without you know, um, any emotion, without even winking. She watches him at work. And the narrator has beautifully described how he felt so uncomfortable working in her presence. He felt as though her stare is burning his hands and curdling his warm blood. It is as though the eyes of the woman had you know, suck the breath out of him and the narrator could not express his, his emotions to the woman because the woman is already turned into a stone and has become a, like a ghost. And night after night, there are two people at work. Who are they? Okay, The narrator who is working on the stone and the death who is working on the young woman. Okay, Very beautifully, um, Wilfred Wilson Gibson captures this in this uh, you know, narrative poem about how with every passage of uh, the day and the night, the woman is reduced you know, from a lively, young, bubbly woman to a lifeless, a stone-like, a ghost-like woman because she is heartbroken, she is tra traumatized, or she has come up with so much of anxiety and pain by the death of her lover. So finally, when the work was done, she breathes his name with a sigh and leaves with a tombstone without saying a word. She just says her lover's name. And the next night, the narrator is again working late in the night only to cut her name in the stone, meaning to say she has died after she left the narrator's house. She has met, met her end and she has become one with her lover. And that is the end of the poem, how the woman is not able to take up a life without her lover and so she dies meeting her you know tragic end because she rejects to live she she does not want to lead a life without her lover now the themes of the poem First of all, it is a narrative poem. It is a very long poem which describes about the tragic story of the young woman and her lover. And it all sums up with one um, sentence that all is lost when true love is lost. That is, when the love is true and when the love is out of uh, one's hand, there is no meaning beyond that. And that is why the woman could not bear to lead a life after the death of her lover. And throughout the poem, we come up with so many emotions and feelings. And um, the three main emotions that you see across the poem, um, poem is sadness, grief, and sympathy. I would also say 
uh, grief, sorry, uh, bereavement, and um, you know the grieving process of how first there is denial and then there is acceptance, and um, the woman does not want to accept a life without her lover, so she dies in the end. But the separation and uh, the distress um, that has uh, you know made the woman um, you know go through is beautifully captured in the poem and the woman is presented as a picture of sorrow and silence and if you happen to read the poem you will find that there is a nice play on that word called stone because the title the stone actually signifies the tombstone but ironically the woman the man was killed by a stone and later we find that the woman turns into a stone and becomes a lifeless person um, and she's, she becomes a stone hearted. That is, she's become a person bereft of emotions and bereft of life. Okay, So there is a, a lot of play on that word stone throughout the poem. Okay, And in this poem, you will also find that how Wilfred Gil uh, Wilson Gibson had uh, beautifully captured the, the true love which can be present even in ordinary working class people's life. We all think that true love is, is possible only in fairy tales, but true love does happen even in ordinary normal people, right? And... Uh, that is beautifully um, you know, brought out in this poem called The Stone by Wilfred Wilson Gibson. Please read the poem and please do not consider this as a replacement for reading the poem. Once you read the poem, you will be able to understand it with even more deeper meaning and um, you will enjoy the poem when you read throughout. And thank you for listening to this video. I hope you enjoy the poem. Thank you.